head over to your Google account, log in, and then go over to script.google.com where we can start creating our web application using Google Apps Script. And we're gonna be creating a standalone app. So that's where we're starting out within the script.google.com location. So you'll see a menu on the left-hand side, select new project, and that's gonna open up the web app interface. And from here, we can start creating our web app. I'm just gonna call it web app tester and hit okay. So it's gonna give me the project name. And then I'm also gonna minimize some of the aspects of the editor so that there's more space to see the code that's being written. So going under view, I'm gonna use the compact controls and this is the gonna compact some of the control options as well as hide some of the values there that we had at the top. I'm also gonna minimize the files on the left-hand side just by dragging and dropping, and then also increase the size of my code window so that the code is more readable. So we've got a default function called my function. So we can go ahead and delete that one and then just save the project. If we do need to access the project, we can go over to the Google Drive. And then within the Google Drive, we're gonna see the web app tester. So this is the app that we've just created. And as well, we can always go over to script.google.com and select the application from that menu. So once you've set up your basic shell of your standalone script, you're going to be ready to move on to the next lesson. We're going to create our web application using the default do get function. And we're also going to be picking up some of the request parameters. And that's all coming up in the next lesson. So go ahead, set up your web application, and you're going to be ready to start writing some more Google Apps Script code.